Hey everyone and welcome back to the Computer Lab or if you're new here then welcome to the Computer Lab. So if you are an aspiring author this video is for you and also if you're just more interested in AI and specifically Microsoft's Copilot AI. So if you're an aspiring author with a book itching to maybe get out and maybe you've got a million ideas stuck in your head and that blank page keeps staring you down. Well, fear not, fellow wordsmiths, because today we are going to be diving into the world of Microsoft's Copilot and how it can supercharge your book writing journey. Now, Copilot, the way to think of it, if you are a writer, isn't there to replace your creativity. Maybe it's just a way for the AI as your writing sidekick. Ready to help you bust through that writer's block, maybe, and overcome procrastination and maybe get them chapters flowing. So whether you're a seasoned novelist or maybe just a complete beginner or just interested in Microsoft Copilot, then this video will equip you with the tools to write your book faster and smarter and use AI to generate ideas and things like that. So grab your favorite beverage, settle in, and let's unlock the power of Copilot in Windows 11 for your book writing adventure. So I'm going to be creating a book in Microsoft's Copilot, but like all of these AI tools, such as Google's Bard, which is now Gemini and Mid Journey for creating images, they are all very powerful. I'm just going to do a create a book because it just sort of shows you what you can do with the Copilot tool. It is currently still in preview, but it is now built into Windows 11. So if you push the Windows key and C to open up Copilot, that's if you're on the most updated version of Windows 11, and it will open up Copilot. Bearing in mind, it still is in preview. And then I'm going to type in, write me a title for a book about a monkey that travels to Saturn. And let's have it something on a banana or in a banana, maybe. No, let's go on a banana. If I do on a banana, then it might um, put the uh, monkey, when I would get it to draw the book later on, it might put the monkey on top of the banana. So that's the only reason I put that on a banana shaped spaceship. So I've asked it to write this title, and let's see what it comes up with. Galactic Bananas, The Monkey's Odyssey to Saturn. So if I wasn't happy with this, I could then say, write me another title or try again sort of thing. Uh, but I'm quite happy with that one. Galactic Bananas, The Monkey's Odyssey to Saturn. Uh, and just to keep the video going, I think we'll leave it as it is. So the next part of the process is asking Microsoft's AI Copilot, what is the story about or what would this story be about? So I'm literally going to type it in as I say it. Uh, you can try different versions of this, but it all works the same and you'll probably get similar answers. But I'm going to put what would the story be about? And then just push enter a return. <laughs> I've even done a typo there, but I'll leave it in and hopefully it should still understand me. And then wait for Copilot to generate me a response. So I'm hoping here is a bit more of um, not a synopsis, but a, a general overview of the book, because we can ask um, it to do an introduction and a synopsis a bit later on. Once we're happy that it's come up with uh, a good sort of underlying story, as it would be. So looking at what it's doing here, you can see it is, it's actually give, given a name to the monkey, call it Zephyr by the looks. Um, and again, we could ask it for another version of this, but I'm going to leave this in because it's mentioned in Zephyr a couple of times. So with that in mind, it should, in theory, bring that into the, um, possibly into the chapters and link it all together. So that's a, a really good thing to just point out there. And I'll just highlight that on the video where it's mentioning that in the actual, um, what the story is about. So as you can see, it has brought the name Zephyr and followed it all the way through the different chapters uh, in what it thinks this story is about. So now I'm going to ask Copilot to write me the introduction and also the synopsis for our book that Microsoft Copilot is writing for us. So again, simple enough prompt. All I need to do in here is uh, write me the introduction. I should have just pushed tab then, that would have been help. <laughs> Write me the introduction and synopsis and then push enter. And the good thing about this, I've not actually told it. I've just said, write me the introduction, the synopsis. So what AI does now, it can understand that we are having the same conversation about the previous questions. So that's as a human, it's very easy to get that. Obviously, you're talking to somebody and the conversation's flowing with AI. When the initial versions came out, uh, when you had that continuation, it was struggling. But now I can just say, 
okay, this is the book now, write me the introduction and the synopsis, and it understands we're still talking about Zephyr, we're still talking about the banana, we're still talking about going to Saturn and the monkey's going there and he's called Zephyr. So it's it's all these different things that it's it understands how it's continuing and how the book all ties together from the simple questions that we've been asking from the beginning, from the title, from asking it to do as an introduction, a synopsis, a general overview, if we are just wanting that as a starting point. So we've got the title there, we've got the general sort of overview of what the story is about, with all the different mentions of Zephyr and the monkey called Zephyr. I've then asked it for the introduction and synopsis, which it's come up with, uh, and now give me an introduction and a synopsis to add uh, and to create my book that goes with the title. So next thing up is chapters. So we want to create some chapters for said book. So we're going to say, write me um, the chapters for this book. Again, I've not told it which book. I'm just saying this book. So that's the continuation of the conversation with Microsoft's co-pilot and about our monkey going to Saturn. So I'm hoping in these chapters, and it has done there, so there straight away, we've got uh, Zephyr mention in chapter three. Uh, so and in chapter 12 so again it's tied all these it's tied the monkey's name and also we're going to saturn all these different things that it is understanding when we type in that we are still talking about the same thing and we are still on with the same book obviously if you was doing this and, and using this as your production and editing it with your own uh, tweaks you would have to really go for it with a fine tooth comb to make sure because it's still not 100 percent there there's still a lot going on but anyway, so what we need to do now, I'm not going to go through each one, but I'm going to ask it to uh, write me uh, chapter one um, and then put it uh, the zoo and the starry eyed monkey and then push enter. So now I've asked it to write me the chapter one for the zoo and the starry eyed monkey. And if I was doing this as the book, I would ask it to do each chapter. Um, so let's have a look at chapter one and see what it comes up with. So again, this should tie in with our monkey's name was going to Saturn, maybe. Um, it's probably going to mention something about it being a starry-eyed monkey uh, and that he's going to travel to Saturn. I don't really know because this is AI and we are in the hands of it, but I can see the name in Zephyr is being brought forward already. So again, tying it all together and we are writing chapter one to our book. And once it's finished chapter one, if we was doing this, like I said, we'd go through each chapter two, three and all the way to 12 um, until it finished. And if we'd created all the chapters, the last thing for us to do would be to draw a, um, a book cover. So I'm going to ask it to draw me a book cover for this book. And I'm just going to put for this book, I'm not asked it, I'm not put any names or references to Saturn and monkeys and bananas in space. I've just asked it to draw me a book cover for this book, pushed enter. And this is in uh, Copilot Designer, so that's been available as a separate sort of program, uh, but now works with inside this Copilot uh, that's built into Windows 11. So you see here, it's now generating, your image is generating. Now this can be a bit random sometimes, um, in my tests I've had all sorts, uh, but this looks very good on its first attempt. So I'd ask it, I could ask it to do it again until I got a character or a book cover that I liked, but we'll just flick through these and I'll show you what I mean. So. Not so keen on that, it's actually riding himself through the book. That one's really good. It's obviously misspelled Saturn, but it, that doesn't matter at this point. We're just trying to get an overview uh, and we could get ask it to remove the title and the text and hopefully it will come up with that and just have the image on there. So there's lots of things we can do, but again, to keep this video uh, rolling and uh, within a reasonable time, I'm just flicking through these images. I'm not gonna ask it to redo any of these for me. So I really like this one. It's got the uh, the back of the book there as well as the front. It's done both images for me. It's got the monkey riding on the banana and he's going round Saturn in his banana spaceship with the stars uh, for his starry eyes, which is also referred to in the story. So obviously if he's then putting this into maybe Word um, or a different publishing, maybe Publisher or something like that, then you would just obviously copy all these details across. So I'll just paste it across without any formatting and then quickly skip along through here. So there we have the title for the book. And then maybe we want the introduction and the synopsis next. So again, copy these across. And like I said earlier, we've even got the emojis at the end of the last paragraph there that it's dragged across for us that hopefully irrelevant to the book. We've then got the introduction, 
Then the synopsis. Again, I'm just quickly formatting these. And then from there, we could then add the uh, chapters. So maybe put a page break in there. Enter our chapters. So just copy these straight across. I'll leave the formatting with these. So it brings the numbers across. So I'll leave the formatting like that. So there's our chapter titles. And again, we would link these properly in Word. And this isn't a lesson in Word, it's more in the AI. So again, I'm just copying the chapter one across. Um, and let me just do it across without the formatting. Give the chapter one a heading one. That's your body text. Again, with the uh, emojis at the end. And you can see how quickly and easily it is to create a book using AI. Not only, like I say, Microsoft Copilot. I will be doing another video uh, using the Google uh, Gemini, which used to be Bard. Uh, and also doing one on Mid Journey, which is an Im image creation tool. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you did, please do hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit me up with any comments. They are always appreciated. And, and if you want to see anything else from the Computer Lab, then please do hit me up with the comments and send me a message, and I'll try and get that video created for you. Thanks again for watching the Computer Lab on YouTube.